Thing. Right, let's get this right. Me and the motorbike. Hi guys, Todd here. Perfect. Well, aside from this, but the picture's perfect. Vlog time. Just back, uh, melting. Absolutely melting. Um, so I've, I've got a, a box of goodies here that I need to show you. Um, but before we get going, we're going to do this Ruby Roo, Ruby Roo style, and Mr. Grim Green coming at you. Now, unlike them, I'm very, I'm uneducated when it comes to alcohol. When I drink alcohol, it's to get pished, uh, stumble about, fall around, and just go around hugging people and tell them I love them, because uh, I'm a, I'm a happy drunk. Uh, so, I have. This is what you drink a beer out of. None of this namby pamby shite. This, this, this is it. Now, I went to a beer festival, Men, and I'm talking, it was a Bex beer festival. This was about 20, uh, no, I'm not telling you how long ago, it was over 20 years. Um, and I've had this ever since, and, and I'm, I'm having a big Bex out of it. So there, common as muck. How does it taste? It tastes like Bex. And if I drink enough of them I'll get pished. Uh, so the, there's my... That's me. I've done my bit. Yeah, I've done my bit. Right. Let's get this show on the road. First thing I have to do... Everybody. Absolutely everybody. That this week... Back on Wednesday there wished me a happy birthday via messaging, they posted on my Facebook page, they emailed me, the, everybody. At, and hand on heart, hand on heart here, it was the best birthday of my life. <laughs> I kid you not. Uh, which is a really strange thing to say. Um, I, I, I mean, I was at work. I mean, even at work. Um, I had a great day and the the gaffers, uh, Huey and Dewey, <laughs> just made my day as well. So, I, I mean, yeah, a shout out to the, what's their names again? People that pay my wages. I'm only kidding. Uh, Ross and Ben, thank you guys if you see this. Thank you for making the day brilliant. Uh, to my, my wife, uh, my family, blah 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 blah, and thank you God, uh, you know, I had a great day, and thank you to all of you, seriously, I mean that from my heart, thank you all, uh, it, was, it was just great, it really was, um, special shout out to Corey, I don't know if you'll see this or not, uh, thank you, really mean that, thank you, uh, sent me a present, anyway, um, so, that's that. That was, I'm another year older. 45. <sighs> to celebrate my birthday, I did a review on my birthday night. Can you believe it? I was a bit pished when I did it, actually. Um, just a tad, which is quite surprising. I did a review of the Aspire Nautilus Mini, um, which uh, I might have raved about it during the review more than probably should have done. But I actually think around right now, uh, and I did actually watch the video back, which is, I don't do. I edit my video, as in I cut the bits out where I just screw up completely and I bore and I ramble more. So I cut them out and I never watch the video again. Uh, but I watched this one. <laughs> and yeah, the Mini Nautilus is good. It's also good in this, the Big, Nautil big Naughty, Big Nautilus, um, however, however, hmm, uh, now, uh, I haven't commented on this, I just actually saw this this afternoon and I was meant to type a reply, uh, troll from behind, uh, 
guy that posted in my forum and several other forums, he posted up a comment saying that would it be like, you know, a, a standard cartomizer. You know, if you burnt a cartomizer, uh, that was it. You would always get the burnt taste. Well, I put my first BCV uh, coil in my Aspire and uh, I think I was drunk. Uh, and I picked it up and I went, took a drag out of it. I hadn't given it time to soak in, I, I burnt it and I actually found that no matter what I did, I just burnt it for a split second I couldn't get rid of that burnt taste at all so I had to put a brand new coil in it so please, if you get the BCV coils from Aspire make sure they're properly saturated before you fire uh, because if you burn the little buggers, that's it, I think you're going to end up binning the coil this is the, 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 the Beacon by Beyond Vape, this mod here. Now this is a, a telescopic, uh, 350, 500, 650. Uh, it's aluminium and it's something like $65 in the States. And I've been using it for just a day, uh, well most of yesterday and today. And I have to say that I wish to God there'd been mods like this out for, at this price point before. Sixty-five dollars. What's that? Thirty-five, forty quid? I don't know. Uh, I'm round about there. This is a great thing. It really is. I mean that's. Dirt cheap setup. Uh, really, is a dirt cheap, all genuine, no copies or clones or anything like that, and producing amazing vapor and flavor. Yeah, I'm looking forward to reviewing this. I, I'm actually looking forward to showing this off to folk. It's a few weeks away, but uh, I reckon you guys are going to love it. So that's the Beyond Vape. Uh, so there's that. Uh, put that to one side. Now. What else have we got? Have we got? This is the 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 neutron. Yep, uh, it's the neutron by uh, Neutron Tech Mods and a guy called Philip Bush. Uh, who did the Damascus mod. Uh, this is a little 18350. It is about 43 millimeters, I think, in length. And that's the Immortalizer 2 on top, and that's uh, an ivory drip tip. Um, very nice little mod, very nice. Um, it's got a good switch on it. Very good. It has honestly. It's got a good switch in it. That's about all I can tell you in this just now. <laughs> I'll just ah. Um, so that that review will be coming down the line. Um, I've been vaping with this. Did I show you this? This is the the Inikin, uh ITC LK twelve eighty. Um, you know the the US. You know they had the CLK pass through mod. Well, they've got a 1280 version, 12, uh, 1280 milliamp hour. Um, comes with a lanyard and all that, but it doesn't come with a tank. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you that off at some point. In the box. Um, now, oh, must show you this, must show you this. yesterday. This is the Vapor Giant. Now remember I did the... That's a big Vapor Giant. 26650 and it came with the, the Vapor Giant tank as well. Well, heard 
the big one. There's the little one. Well, actually, that's not fair. That's actually an 18350. Yes, that's an 18350 mode just now. Um, I'll put that to the side. Um, you know, it's an 18650, but uh, I've put it in 18350 mode, so... There's the tank with a really long drip tip on it. There's a little mod in 18350. We'll go in 18650 as well. Um, once again, uh, I'm, uh, I don't mean to sell this short here by saying this. Go and watch my Vapor Giant review and just say to yourself, okay, I wish that was an 18650 mode. And that's what this is. It, it's just. He stuck it in the tumble dryer for a couple of hours and, and it sh shrunk um, because it's basically the same mod in a smaller setup. Right, wow. Uh, so that's that. Um, that, will, that review will be coming along in a couple of weeks. But once again, I don't mean it. I'm, I'm not selling it short, but the review will be very similar to this one, except smaller. Can't say much more than that actually, uh, but it is like this one. It is built. I mean, it, that is built really, really well. As is the 18650 version. Uh, right. What else? What else has been happening in the loony bin? Uh, there's more stuff in the box. Uh, what's this one? Oh, this is... Uh, I didn't actually realise I was getting this. Uh, or I forgot about it. I've not actually tried it yet. Oh! Um, this is from JM Mods. Uh, this is a 26650. And... And oh. now I had a quick look at this, and I, I don't. Oh, how can I say this without sounding like a dick? But the tube, yeah, it, it seems all right. I've not actually fired with it, but I think that the. I don't know if you can see it. It's a carbon fibre tube that's been put on the outside. Uh, well, it's stainless steel on the inside and it's like a carbon fibre sleeve. Uh, the way it's been cut, it's been cut pretty badly actually. Uh, but I'll show you that in the review. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I've not fired it yet. I've not seen how it performs. I mean it does actually look quite smart. Uh, it's quite nice and the, the button, it's got a really nice button on it. Um, so that review will be coming. So that's a uh, GM, the GM 26650. Uh, put that in the box. What else? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, go for it. Wow, now we're talking. Let's get into it. Come to daddy. Uh, <laughs> right. Now, uh, now I'm excited. Ah, oh. normally I don't hear the planes as bad as this. They change the flight path over in Edinburgh, so sometimes they put. You know, if they change the flight path to go that way, then we don't hear a thing. But then when it's busy at night, they, they come over our way, so it's a bit annoying. Um, big shout out to. I've got. To, I've got to do this. Because he sends me he sends me an email every once in a while, and I just want to say thank you, uh, Mr. Tony Hodgkins, or LT, uh, Tony Hodgkins. I'd just like to say hi to Tony and all the boys down under. They'll know what I mean. Uh, so. Thank you for the email that you send me every once in a while. I really appreciate it. And I wish you guys all the best and keep doing what you're doing. Uh, keeping us safe. So, 
There's a random one. Um, now, you've seen this wee guy before. This is the Silver Fox, okay? You've seen that before uh, by Van. Um, and absolutely stunning little bit of gear. In fact, I've got my uh, Silver Dog. I'm going to drill out another air hole and have it dual, set up dual. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Um, this just arrived. I've not opened this. This is, we're opening this together. Now this will be released tomorrow, Saturday, the 26th of July. Um, and Del Boy and Van have just sent this over. Uh, so let's have a, my god. Remember the line? My god, look at the shine in that. Oh, let me just give it a, just give it, just give it a wee wipe here. <laughs> see if you can see this. That's the Line LE by Van. Um, Oh, sorry, I've got lost for words here. Uh, you, you remember the old the van used to meet the line in the past. It's it's one of the it's one of the first Jennies that I had. Um, you know, you, you were going to have the the wick in the centre yet again. Um, it's is that Pyrex? I think it's Pyrex glass in there. Never used to be Pyrex glass in them. Um, it's got an adjustable 510 on it, which they never used to have. It's finished. The finishing on it is light years ahead of what they used to be. Uh, I'm, I hope it's half as good as it looks. Because uh, I used to love them. I used to love them. Well, I think what I'll have to do is I'll not do it. It won't be a, a full on review. That'll just be me setting it up for the first time and vaping with it because, uh, you know, the guys are wanting kind of like wanting a video out for the release date, uh, but I can't give a, I can't give proper feedback on it after a day, so I'm just going to leave it just now. I'm going to, you know, just, I'll, I'll set it up. I'll do it all in film and uh, give people my opinion on it. Then I think that's the best way to do that, uh, but. Dan and Vel, Dan and Vel, Del and Van, because I haven't even had that much to drink yet. Uh, thanks, boys. Uh, really appreciate it. So that was everything in the box. I've missed stuff. I've seen that? Uh, I've have you seen this? I don't know what others in this. Uh, You've seen everything else? Yeah, you have. Uh, oh, I got the drippy tips. Lots of drippy tips. From, uh, well, this is just some of them. Ah, uh, you're, you're not getting a focus. Oh, focus, 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 focus. Uh, these are uh, Zaris. Drip tips, but they all came in these in these little uh, cork. I think they're cork. Drip hip, drip tip, uh, drip tip holding cork holders. Really smart. Uh, so there'll be a review for that coming up. Uh, oh man, it's so hot. Uh, another shout out to and, and I. I've said this in a couple of videos now, right? Uh, there used to be a reviewer that I really liked watching because he was just he was just out there. Uh, Charlie, Funky Vapes. Uh, 
It hasn't made any review videos in ages because I think he's concentrating on his business now. Um, I don't know if it's his shop or if he just sells his juice there, but it's uh, in Canada, vapemeeting.ca. And he sent me on a, some of his juice, uh, pearl necklace and pillow talk and something. Uh, and a beautiful juice. And I'm not plugging it because it's actually a nice e-liquid, but he's such a hell of a nice guy. He's just such a funky dude uh, that that's why I, I go on about him sometimes. Plus he's Canadian. And uh, as I've said before, my wife's Canadian, so I have to say nice things about like Amber uh, and Charlie and stuff like that. I'm only kidding, I don't have to. They also sent me on this uh, Omega wire. Uh, now, I'm not, uh, I haven't done any of these wire videos for ages because, to be perfectly honest, you know. Sick as tits, rip. Uh, I mean, he does all that shit, and and I'll be honest. I mean, I do micro coils, and I'm happy with them. And and I still do four wraps of point two cantle around a stainless steel wick, and happy days. Um, uh, I'm. I mean, I still do twisted cantle sometimes. I put a twisted cantle build in my silver dog. Uh, the other day, but this, I'm the wrong guy to be watching if you're wanting, you know, this really sub ohm type stuff. Uh, it, it's just because personally, it's not really for me. I mean, I like, I mean, I can vape a heavy VG liquid at one ohm and get loads of clouds and that's enough for me. That's enough. Uh, but, you know, do what you're happy with. Go for gold. Uh, just don't kill yourself while you're doing it. Uh, battery safety. Right. Uh, where was I? I was talking about Canadians. That always throws me. Um, always throws me. Right. Yeah. What else have we got to see? Uh, Did I tell you I've got the Blue Tongue Woody coming? Uh, BlueTongueMods.com.au uh, Go along and have a look at the Blue Tongue Woody. I'm, uh, I'm getting a couple of them sent over. I can't wait because they look gorgeous. Um, and I've told you about all that and I've told you about that and that and that. Uh, I've got... Oh, I'll tell you who's in touch. Uh, Aero. Do you remember Aero? Aerovapes.com? The S. Uh, stuff like that. Um, they're up and going again and they've got an EDNA coming up. A DNA 30 tube mod. So they're sending that over. Uh, so it was good to hear from them again because I liked the work they did. I really did. Um, did the Stingray. Uh, Stingray Black X. Uh, that'll be released at Vape Fest. August 4th, I think. Is it the 4th? 4th of August? I could be wrong. I usually am. Uh, no, it won't be the 4th. That's a Monday. Uh, uh, anyway, it's in August. Um, I'm not going. You'll be glad to hear. Um, yeah. Can't remember where I was going with that. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right, what else? Uh, thank you to all the people on uh, Facebook that uh, it kept me right uh, when I was looking for a new phone. See Facebook, Facebook and Facebook Messenger and all that. I've got an old Note, Samsung Note V1 phone. Loved it, had it for ages and it just runs great. And then when Facebook and Facebook Messenger go on it, it just runs like a dog now. Uh, so, I just went for a Note V2, but I was sitting in the shop yesterday and it was quiet for about an hour and I thought, do you know what I'll do? I'll, I used to be into routing phones and all this kind of stuff and uh, mucking about with bootloaders and all this crap and I ended up bricking my phone, my old one. <laughs> what the fuck? I got it back though, it was just a soft brick, it wasn't a hard brick, if that makes sense. 
Anyway, why am I talking about phones? This is about vaping. Uh, right, um, I'm just cooking here. How long has this been going for? It doesn't actually tell me. That's crap. Um, is there else? Oh! Um, Matthew. Uh, awfully nice chap that he is. Who seems to work every hour that God sends. Uh, sent me some cotton. Uh, Japanese cotton to play with. Now, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I watched Phil's video. Or is it Pete? Can never remember. Uh, <laughs> I'm only kidding. Um, and it was a good video. It was good to watch that. Uh, see all the different wicking material and how he got on with it. So I thoroughly recommend that you go and watch Mr. Bassardo's video on wicking. Very good one. Um, so I've got some of that from Matthew. I've been vaping with that and enjoying it. It does seem to wick really well. Um, I've... That, 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 do you know, that's it. I've nothing else to tell you. What have I got on this weekend? I, uh, oh dear God. I have got... So much to... Right. I've got to do the Fakirs. Uh, I've got the Fakirs FX30, FX16, and the X uh, Dripper. Uh, so I've got Fakir, the Fakirs gear to do this weekend. I'm on the autumn, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm also going to do some L Rider gear. Uh, out of all the gear they sent me, there is a couple bits of gear that I haven't played with before, so I will show it off. Uh, I will show it off, um, and during the week I will be. I've got to do the the line, the line L E as well. I've got to do that tomorrow. Uh, the neuron, did I call it the neutron? I think it's the neuron. I'm doing that during the week, uh, and next weekend I've got some nice bits and bobs to do as well. That's about that. Um, what else? Right. Uh, right, everybody's coming out into their gardens now to enjoy the night. I'm in the shed. This is sick and twisted. Uh, I shouldn't be out here. Um, do I really want to get into this? Do, I want to, do you know this has been a happy blog? This has been a happy vlog, I mean, I should say. I've not vaped much. I need to vape more. Now uh, let's turn this up. Right. Oh. Couldn't figure out how to start a DNA. Uh, right, let's go up to uh, 13 watts. Because I can do that with a Spire Mini Nautilus. Uh, right. Okay, here we go. No, I'll just get into trouble if I start it again. It's done with. Was I sad to see that a certain Greek modder got his arse handed to him and thrown off of UK vapors? No. I laughed my fucking arse off. Yes, uh, Emil got chucked off of UK Vapors for being a panty hamster. And he is. He's a panty hamster. Uh, and I'm just glad that other people saw him for the panty hamster that I know he is. I still think he makes good mods. Don't get me wrong. Can't take that away from him. I think he makes good mods. He's just a knob. Uh, also, uh, Ameravape have been at it again, posting shit. These guys should just, whoever, you know, I dealt with one of the partners, uh, but that Eric guy, he's a psycho. Uh, he has single-handedly destroyed that company. Why his business partner just didn't go and put a pill over his head and shoot him at night, I don't know, because he's killing their business. 
Anyway, um, that's it from me. Ah, before I get into any more trouble. Um, and I'm just pausing for effect here. I saw a guy, there was a guy in a Facebook group, or a, a whatnot. Yeah, I don't watch Todd, I think he's shite. I can't handle him, he's dead irritating. True. Uh, and those long pauses are so annoying. Very true. Um, don't moan about it. Just don't watch it. There's so many good reviewers out there now that you should go and watch them instead. Uh, you don't have to watch me. Um, I, I will say, uh, happy days, that's me. I've gone over 30,000 subscribers. Now 31,000 I think it is. Um, which I'm, I'm kind of chuffed about. Uh, that's not bad for a, a bloke and his hut. Which was quite funny because a guy came into the shop <laughs> uh, I, I, and he's, I want to buy a Magneto. I watched a review on it this morning. Hang on. I watched your review this morning and <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've been me up. Uh, so he bought a Magneto. Um, I, I was talking about this in my forum saying like, how do you get more subscribers? I want more subscribers. I've never asked for subscribers. It's something I've never done. I've never said please subscribe or or gone in a hunt for subs. I'm just not interested. Uh, but I just wondered, you know, when you look at the American reviewers, they've got thousands of subscribers and you think, they've only been going for a wee while. Why haven't I got as many as that? Um, probably because I talk shit most of the time and uh, as the guy said in my forum, I'm kind of I don't do clones and things like that, and I'm probably just very boring. Anyway, um, so I will say this though, to the people that have subscribed and have stuck with me all this time, thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it. And on that note, I'm going to go and get changed into my shorts, and I am going to drink some more alcohol. Not because it tastes good, but because it gets me drunk. And uh, that's all I need to know. Have a great weekend, guys. We'll catch up soon. Cheers now. Bye. Switch this off. <laughs>